integrate 1 over cosine x minus 1 solution. So it would be really nice if it was uh, cosine squared minus 1, because then we could use a trig identity. So the idea here is that we make it a cosine squared minus 1. So in order to do that, we will multiply by the so-called conjugate. So we have 1 over cosine x minus 1. And so what we do is we multiply by cosine x plus 1 over cosine x plus 1. So we're essentially multiplying by 1, so we're not changing anything. And now we'll use the difference of squares formula. Because the bottom piece here is a minus b times a plus b. And that becomes uh, a squared minus b squared. So this becomes the integral. The top remains unchanged. It's 1 times cosine x plus 1. So that's cosine x plus 1 over, and then the bottom is going to be um, uh, cosine squared minus 1 squared, which is just 1, right? It's a squared minus b squared. So you square the cosine, you subtract, and you square the 1. Okay. Now, sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. Right, so we have to figure out what cosine squared minus 1 is. So if we solve for sine squared, we get um, 1 minus cosine squared. But we need it to be cosine squared minus 1. So if we multiply by negative 1, we get negative sine squared equals, let's see, flip the signs, so it'll be cosine squared minus 1. So this is equal to the integral of cosine x plus 1 over and then negative sine squared x dx. A little bit, a little bit delicate. Then we're going to break it up. So this is equal to, I'll show every step. So cosine x over negative sine squared x plus 1 over negative sine squared x. Showing an extra step there. I usually skip some steps here. Right, it's just cosine x over the negative sine squared and then 1 over the negative sine squared. We can put these negatives upstairs. This is going to be negative. Now, cosine over sine squared, you can think of that as cosine over sine times 1 over sine, right? Because sine times sine is uh, sine squared. That's actually cotangent x cosecant x. So this piece here becomes negative cotangent x cosecant x. And then this negative comes upstairs. So minus 1 over sine squared is cosecant squared x. And then parentheses dx. Beautiful stuff. Now we just have to integrate. So a function whose derivative is negative cosecant cotangent, that's simply cosecant x. And a function whose derivative is negative cosecant squared, that's simply cotangent x. And then, of course, we have the plus c at the very, very end. That's it. I hope this video uh, has been helpful, and I hope it made sense.